What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Anthony Mackie sat down with Entertainment Weekly to explain what his reaction is now to the fact that not only is he Captain America, but there's a Captain America 4, presumably starring him, on the horizon. He also talked a lot about the end of the series, taking up the new mantle, and what really shocked him about the end of the show and the fact that his costume didn't leak out. We're going to break down everything in this interview with Anthony Mackie on taking up the mantle of Captain America, how he found out about what's going on with Captain America 4. No, it wasn't from Marvel Studios, and what we can expect from the plot of that fourth film. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live. All you have to do, hit the sub button then leave a comment down below today also happens to be the three-year anniversary of everything always so as a thank you to the community we're giving away an additional playstation 5 on friday all you have to do to be entered into that one is follow the link down in the description or comments or go over to my instagram account i am fires follow my account and then make sure you like and comment on this silly photo of me wearing an iron man mask holding a captain america shield far less people are going to do this than sub and comment here at the channel this will greatly increase your odds we had about 2,000 people do it yesterday we're going to run this all day today and tomorrow announce a winner on friday so let's jump into this interview so this is entertainment weekly catching up with anthony mackie literally within the last 24 hours to ask about the ending of captain america and the winter soldier and i say that because that's what they renamed the series at the end during the post credit scenes and and ask about this future film, Captain America 4, starting with the question, how'd you hear about this? And this is what Anthony Mackie had to say, quote, I literally found out yesterday in a grocery store, Mackie says. The checkout guy named Dwayne, a cool cat, he's like, yo man, is this real? Holds up a cell phone. I'm like, I haven't heard anything, and that's what I love about working for Marvel. They call you, they're like, come to LA, we want to tell you what's going on. So I'm excited to see what happens, but I haven't heard anything. Now, that means he hasn't heard this officially from Marvel, but as I'm sure you've seen everywhere since the day after the conclusion to Falcon and the Winter Soldier, this report of Captain America 4. That's because it was broke by the Hollywood Reporter as an exclusive. Hollywood Reporter and Deadline are basically the holy grails of Hollywood trades. There's a couple others, but usually when they report something, it's as close as taking it to fact or an official announcement as there can be. So while we always say take everything that doesn't come from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt, if it's coming from the Hollywood Reporter, it's probably true. Also, you gotta think about it from just taking a step back. Announcing Captain America 4, the future for Anthony Mackie in that franchise, that's the best day to do it when the hype is at its highest, and it also saves Marvel from having to make some sort of official announcement or anything like that. You just leak it through one of the most trusted Hollywood trades or allow it to become leaked, the information gets out there and you let them handle it. So yes, there is a Captain America 4, that's why Anthony Mackie is so confident when he's answering it that he just hasn't heard. Instead of doing what Marvel Studios has had every actor doing since the beginning of Marvel Face War and literally just lying and denying every report. Now, he went on to answer a question about a season two, said that he hadn't heard anything about that, but it would be fun as hell to do. And he loved working with Stan and Kari Skoglin and then went on to talk about picking up the mantle. And one thing he was shocked about, he said, quote, I don't know what I expected, but it's definitely not what I thought it would be. I guess I foresaw something that was much more celebratory than just Anthony with a new Twitter account. And he joked, he also went on to say that that it's the same people I've been working with on these movies for eight years now. So to go from my first day to now becoming Cap with the same people was really special. Everybody shared in it from the props team to the wardrobe, from the camera department to the people in the office. It was really a collective effort. Speaking of which, the props team which made that suit, which was totally practical, a 10-piece suit other than some of the CGI vibranium wings and whatnot. They filmed it in downtown Atlanta, and he was shocked that that costume didn't leak out since it was all practical and he was wearing it. Quote, we were in downtown Atlanta in the middle of Atlantic Station, which I know that place very well and I'll explain, surrounded by apartment buildings and condos doing a huge fight sequence and nobody took pictures. It was crazy. Now, in fact, people did take pictures. There was leaked set footage from Atlantic Station, one of the condos on Twitter. Atlantic Station is a huge outside mall that's dual zoned commercial and residential. There are people living in high rises as well as condos surrounding the entire area. It's meant to be focused around being outside and no matter where you live in the US or around the world, I'm sure you know of or have have something similar where you live. That means that there's a ton of people in high rises with clear access shots. Now, while some video did leak out, there were reports they went literally condo by condo, bought out whatever footage was there, and then had everybody sign NDAs. And I think, you know, most people are working, they, they couldn't be bothered breaking an NDA and risking that kind of lawsuit. However, 
It definitely was still during the end of the COVID lockdown, which means everybody was home. I'm kind of shocked it didn't leak out either. We actually didn't get a leak of the final suit for Captain America till well, Marvel themselves put out a trailer too early, hours before the finale, and we saw that shot of him flying through the sky. Either way, this is awesome to hear that, you know, he didn't deny Captain America 4, that he's open and excited for it, and I think it would probably be a misstep by Marvel to build the arc for this character and then not cash it in with him taking the role of the franchise. I mean, Thor's getting his fourth movie, and yeah, that's still the same lead, but well, with some other characters, there's no reason Captain America's franchise shouldn't and couldn't get a fourth installment. And we've also heard here recently, Deadline back in January, leaked that Chris Evans was actually negotiating coming back for a project. So when this story broke on Friday and we reported it literally hours after the finale had been live in the morning, so it went live at three and then this story was coming out by noon the next day, Deadline came out and answered it and said, listen, when we were talking about an earlier Chris Evans project, it wasn't Captain America 4. So don't expect old man Cap or an older version of Captain America to come back and reprise his role for that. That's for Anthony Mackie. He's negotiating for something else. Now, would this be an everything always video if we didn't wildly speculate about what that could be? And maybe Cap showing up in Captain America 4 for a quick cameo wouldn't be the worst thing ever. It could really contextualize the story. I've said I really don't want to see him until Secret Wars. Just leave him on the bench. Bring him back 10 years from now, everybody will uh, everybody will be really excited to see him. But there have been rumors, the slightest of rumors, that they could be casting him for some sort of prequel, not returning the Infinity Stones or meeting up with Peggy Carter or anything like that, but a buddy movie with Wolverine set in some previous American War, maybe somewhere along the Vietnam or Korean War timelines. I, I couldn't even imagine what that would be like, a younger Chris Evans alongside the new Wolverine buddy movie. I would be all for it, but there's a good chance that that is literally just the wildest of rumors and speculations about what Marvel could do with the character, and man, that is a, a long shot, absolutely at best. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below how hype you are for Captain America 4, and quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every Friday while the shows are live, and we'll continue to do that in between Loki and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Marvel Studios and Disney definitely want you to keep your subscriptions, so We'll keep giving them out because, hey, why not? We're also giving away a PlayStation 5, as I said in the prologue, on Friday to commemorate the third anniversary of the channel. Guys, I cannot thank you enough for your continued support, love, and inspiration. It's been amazing building this community. I'm very excited about the future. If you haven't already, all you got to do is go follow my Instagram account, I am Fires. There's a link in the description. There's also a link in the comments, so you can't miss it. Go follow that account. Make sure you like and comment on that silly photo of me wearing an Iron Man mask and holding a Captain America shield. Small flex, that shield is signed by both Chris Evans and Anthony Mackie. I, uh, I got to get it framed to put on the wall. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep wearing it and playing around with it in my living room. Go ahead and follow that. <laughs> comment on that. If you do that, Friday, we will pick a winner right out of the comments uh, from Instagram. And it's that easy to be entered at the channel as well. Hit the sub button, leave a comment down below and because it's random. More videos you comment on here at the channel, better chance you have of winning any of the prizes. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter under I Am Fires. You can find me on Spotify, YouTube, and all other platforms with original music under All Fires. Good news coming about that soon. I'm going to be on tour, probably coming to a city near you in the U.S. I'm very excited to meet a lot of you. Well, we'll talk about that a lot later on. So if you're still listening in the 8 minute and 40 second mark of this video, you are exactly who I want to aim this at. And it is literally aimed independently at each one of you listening. I don't care if you found my channel last week, last year, or you've been riding since the very first day. Thank you so much, literally from the bottom of my heart. You guys continue to be amazing, inspirational, interactive. A lot of the comments that you make, they're very thought-provoking, you guys are sincere. I absolutely cannot thank each and every one of you for the community that you built here. I, it's amazing, and I couldn't ask literally for a better life, a more fulfilling life than getting to share what I already did every single day with some of my closest friends, now with a huge cross-section of people from all around the world. That's what everything always is. That's what we stand for, and I could not be happier to be a part of this community. I have tried to spend a lot more time down in the comments, uh, both on Instagram, 
and on YouTube, trying to talk and meet to a lot of you. And I will continue to do that. The best way to connect with me outside of YouTube is on my Instagram. Um, a lot of you guys DM me every day. I do my best to reach out to as many of you as I can. Um, you can also hear my music on Spotify under All Fires. That's a huge part of my life. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be going on tour here pretty soon, either by the end of the year or the beginning of next, uh, especially around the U.S. I'm coming to a city near you. Uh, I'm very excited about the future of the channel and the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I'm extremely thankful, humble, and blessed uh, to have you guys uh, riding shotgun with me uh, at the channel every single day. Uh, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for the last three years here at Everything Always, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.